All right, guys, this is Mithril back with another Fallout New Vegas max damage guide video. And today, the item we are checking out comes from the Old World Blues DLC, and that is the Sonic Emitter Tarantula. Now, this is probably the best out of all the Sonic Emitters. I will get to that in a second, but uh, it basically, you know, has the same effect. More damage against robots, more damage against big mountain robots and power armor. And then its critical effect is you get plus two fire damage for five seconds. Now there's also a slight chance, slight, that you can one shot an enemy. It just instantly kills them. I don't know why, but it can, making it, you know, one of the most powerful weapons. Like it's all situational and it depends. If you don't get the insta kill, it's still pretty good. It's still the best out of the Sonic emitters, but you know, hitting that insta kill is pretty good. But uh, other than that, there's really not too much to say about it. So let's get on with today's video. All right, I should now be here at Quarry Junction. And so the first thing I'm going to do is show you guys my status, my special, my skills, and then all of my perks, my weapons, my apparel, and then all of the eight items I'm using will be down in the description below. So make sure to check it out if you guys want to see for yourself. And then let me know if you guys think I can do anything to improve on these videos. Then I'm also using max charge energy cells. And then I am on very hard. Okay, so let me spawn in the legendary death claw. All right, let's see here. How fast? All right, I'm not sure if that was the one shot or not, but uh, as you guys can see on a crit, it sets him on fire. So let's see what the damage is. Yeah, you see that? That's uh, that's pretty impressive, right? Okay, vats go away. Come on, vats go away. Okay, so that's a non crit, and we do two hundred and seventy three damage, I believe. Two hundred and seventy three. Yeah, 273. Yeah, so on crit, um, according to that, we did 200, or not 200, 727 damage. Let me spawn in a new guy. So yeah, uh, on a crit, we did a thousand damage because he only has a thousand HP. Sweet. So let's spawn in the legendary bloatfly now. Okay, and let's see how fast. So yeah, uh, if you guys saw that, he still had around 1600 HP and he just died. This is why I was telling you this is probably the best Sonic Emitter. Well, not even probably, it is the best uh, Sonic Emitter. And that's why it's really situational when I said it could be the best gun in the game. Because, you know, those one shots are one shots. Like, there's no other way to say it. Instantly killing your enemy is gonna be better than something not instantly killing it i don't care if it does four thousand damage and that can one shot everything in the game you know still an instant kill is probably the best so let's see here so on a non-crit we do 248 damage it looks like All right, I was expecting a one shot and uh, I was not paying attention to his health. That one was on me. 
so yeah as you guys can see it does not happen every time but it does happen all right let me try and look at his health now because i was expecting a one shot really okay it's not gonna go off 1505 12 58 i think it was 1258 to like 658. So like 600 damage, I think. Let me try this again. Okay, we were at 1752. And then on crit, we do 334 damage. Okay, now let's spawn in the giant Robo Scorpion, the level 50 version, of course. If you guys have ever played the Elder Scroll series, another, you know, company that's kind of related to Fallout because Bethesda does it. I know this game wasn't made by Bethesda, but Obsidian, but, you know, Fallout, Elder Scrolls. This effect of the tarantula is kind of like a Mayroon's razor, where it can instantly kill somebody. Kind of the same effect. Just a little, you know, trivia and whatnot. But all right, let's see how fast. Okay, that was a one shot. And this guy here has 3,500 health and 30 DT. See that? 35. 100 health, 30 DT, and he got one shot. Yeah, see? This is what I'm talking about. It depends on the situation, but this gun can be the best in the game. This is honestly what the uh, Euclid's Seafinder should have been. But, you know, Death Ray gonna die instantly no so on a crit without him dying instantly we do 381 damage okay that was another crit okay trying to get a non crit here Sweet, we did a 70 on a non-crit. But yeah, as you guys have seen, the ability to one-shot your opponent, no matter how much health they have, how can you pass that up? But uh, yeah, there you go, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Because of my channel, and I will appreciate it like always. And then let me know what you guys thought about today's video, and then I hope to see you guys next time.